School of PE's PE Civil Exam Review Guides got even better. So before we talk about these new resources, let's talk about the journey that the team went through to produce these upcoming books. First, as we were producing the books, we got thrown a couple of curveballs. We started production of these books in early 2020, then the pandemic hit, COVID hit. Kind of changed the way we were doing things and changed the way that we approached producing these upcoming books. But the biggest change came when NCES decided to throw a big curveball. They transitioned the PE civil exam from paper and pencil to computer-based testing a year early. So we had to scramble to get these books ready in time to become one of the first people to produce a CBT-ready book. You know, being a computer-based exam, it's a closed book. You no longer have the luxury of bringing in any of these resources. All you get is the NCS reference handbook and any applicable codes and standards. So what's very important to students as they prepare for the exam is learning how to navigate their way through these references so that way they're not, you know, wasting time or they're best maximizing their time during the exam. So our new upcoming books, one for each discipline, help students map through the reference handbook as well as the codes and standards because we reference those within the pages of the book. One of the most exciting things about the upcoming books is that it's two volumes, volume one and two. Volume one covers the common topics, which are common to everybody. Basically, they cover bullets one through eight on the exam specs. And then if you're a construction person, there's a book designed just for you. Geotech, same thing. So again, exciting. Volume one and volume two coming to you soon. Stay tuned. When we first set out to publish review guides, our goal was to provide resources that are both comprehensive and concise to help you prepare for and pass your exam with confidence. The PE Civil Exam Review Guide was created with the help of subject matter experts to provide a streamlined study experience. Our instructors have refined each chapter to focus more closely on the most relevant concepts. They use their expertise and experience to present the material in logical, easy to understand segments. With the new CBT format, the electronic NCES PE Civil Reference Handbook and relevant design standards are now the only references allowed during the exam. We kept that in mind when we designed this review guide to clearly identify the pertinent content from these sources. For an exam of this magnitude, careful time management is critical for success. One of the objectives of this review guide is to teach you how to find material in the reference handbook for more efficient navigation during the CBT exam. Any content that also appears in the reference handbook is highlighted in blue type so you can easily recognize it and become familiar with its location. This will help you learn how the reference handbook is organized so you'll be able to navigate it with ease and search for concepts and equations quickly and efficiently on exam day. All the PE Civil Review Guides go through a rigorous three-step peer review process prior to publication. The review process is iterative, and it ensures that we provide our students with the most accurate, functional, and complete resource possible. When the books are still in the early manuscript first draft stages, before the copy edit even happens, we send chapters to SMEs, or subject matter experts. These are professional engineers who have real-world experience in their disciplines and are familiar with NCEES and the exams that they proctor. The first thing an SME will do is perform a technical review. They read through the content with a few things in mind. Is the material factually sound? Is it comprehensible? And is it relevant? Does the material contain all the information a student needs to pass the PE civil exam? And they will also solve all example problems, mark any calculation errors they find, and suggest changes to make the examples more useful for exam preparation. All feedback and suggested revisions from the first technical reviewer are sent to the author to consider and help improve their content. After a series of revisions between the authors and the editorial staff, the manuscripts go through a second technical review. Here, the chapters are compared against an NCES practice exam booklet to make sure all the topics and concepts covered in the practice exam are covered in our book. We do this as a final check to make sure there are no holes in our content. And finally, after our chapters are typeset in their final form, they go to a test panel composed of people who have recently taken the exam. The test panel participants answer a series of questions about the content that are designed to leverage their familiarity with the exam to reveal if the book would have sufficiently prepared them to pass. Essentially, the review processes provide a conversation between the author and the reviewer, propelling the development of the content toward a stronger, comprehensive product that will ultimately help you thoroughly prepare for the PE Civil exam.
I think a lot of people look at it and think, oh, it's just going to be like any other textbook I've seen. Well, that wasn't the goal when we created this. We wanted to create something that's going to help you really pass your exam. So first, we've had multiple instructors actually author the book for us. So each one's doing it to just their subject matter expertise, which has allowed us to make the book as concise as possible. So we've tried to focus on just the things that are going to help give you that extra edge and none of the extra stuff that you don't need. And then secondly, we used augmented reality to be able to give you things that another book couldn't have. Let's say you're working on your topic and you just want to be able to actually determine whether or not you're comprehending that information. What you do is you take out your smartphone and you'll scan these little codes at the beginning of your chapter called TAR codes, total AR, and then immediately you're going to have mobile quizzes or flashcards that pull up for you. So in real time, you're able to double check your knowledge and make sure you have it exactly how you want. And if you've got 10 minutes of waiting, 15 minutes of waiting, whatever, have a great experience for being able to just exam prep. You're going to need somewhere between 100 and 300 hours of exam preparation in order to be successful. So this is a great way to get some extra time in. Hi, excited to announce the revamp of our PE Civil On Demand Review course. Along with its great features, we're integrating pop-up questions or knowledge check questions. So as you're watching through the lectures, the video will pause and a question will pop up. These questions are designed to keep you engaged in the video, as well as give you an idea of how well you're grasping the material that's being lectured. Two great features that have been added to our On Demand course coming to you soon.